Yo, what's up guys? Nandro here and welcome to another another video on Dragon. This one is is very is very very near and dear is very very near and dear to me. I, I'm really glad that I was able to record this. The reason why I was glad I was able to record this is because, is because as as I've said numerous times in previous videos, people do not understand when you are supposed to kill Ayala. And and I know a lot of times I'll say it in the video. However, I usually wouldn't have any actual examples about this, but this video, the reason and the reason why I like it is because I have four different I have four different examples from the same video of my opponent just not just not killing Ayala at the correct time. And they and him not doing it actually solely actually straight up just like solo wins me the match. So this is so I'm so I am gonna be using my polyphonic C deck. And and if you haven't already seen the deck list, I did put it up in a, in a previous video, and you can go ahead and look at that. I'll, I'll have a link for it down in the description below. I am going second. This is fine for me. I don't. I I, I can play this match with going either first or second. It's usually not that hard for me, just because when I go when I go first. That usually means that I, that I get the shot to to go ahead and get the first fervor off, and if I'm going second, that means that I can go ahead and play aggressively and punish stuff like first fervor if I don't have it. He plays Oracle here. I have I, I have double Ayala. This is nice. That means I can I, that means I can automatically keep up and ramp, provided he doesn't he doesn't three ramp or, or four ramp. But most likely he's not gonna be able to do that. So he develops Ayala. I develop my own Ayala. And and this is where the game of chicken comes down. A lot of people, will, oh. <coughs> sorry about that. A lot of people will will make will make the very very grave mistake of trading into into Ayala here. You are not supposed to trade into Ayala here, and this is why. If you trade into Ayala and you don't have a fervor, but I do, suddenly I win the game. If you. If you do it and I get the fervor anyway, I wasn't going to be able to fervor for at least two turns. But but, su but suddenly letting me fervor for free, it's just it's just always a bad play, especially when you're not doing something aggressive in order to punish me for fervoring. Like if he wanted to go something like say fervor and then develop a scyther, if he didn't have his own fervor, that'd be perfectly okay. Just because oh well you fervor and then you ha and, I, and then there's just a scyther on the board that I have to kill before I, before I can develop any real creatures. Just because the Scyther is going to kill whatever I play for free. The, uh, but yeah, so, so we're just gonna keep going. He plays a Dragon Summoner, which fetches him a second Dragon Summoner. I'm I'm like ninety percent sure that that fetches him a second Dragon Summoner just because like he did he didn't play anything else that, that was gonna ramp him, and his best bet would, would have been would have been to yeah would have been to have seen would have been to have seen his own Ayala, so that, way he, so that way he can go ahead and make curve filler, and then also deny me from playing anything, from playing my, from playing another Ayala, just because if he has Fervor now, he can Fervor for free, if he plays Sybil, he can do that, and not need to Evo, and etc. So here, my hand is, my hand is kind of weak, like, there's not that much I want to play, like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of restricted to, to just playing out this Ayala this turn, I don't I don't want to use Goblin Breaker Tina because I need to get this Ayala out into play so that way I can continue to ramp. And Goblin and Goblin Breaker Tina is pretty ass in this matchup just because it doesn't do anything notable for the most part. There sure you, you have you have some games where you can kind or you can get some like crazy things. Like for example, I had a game once where I was able to go Tina Evo Evo into a Zeus and deal nine damage to it and basically solo it. And that and that game is nice, but that's a pretty anecdotal anecdotal example. Anyway, so back to the game. Because because I have an Evo advantage, I'm gonna I'm gonna play very, very aggressively with this Evo because I want to make him feel obligated to kill this. If he it right, so if he if he goes simple here and then Evo is over my Ayala and then I top deck Oro, well he's in a bad spot. Or for example, if or or for example, hypothetically, if I had Saha and I was going, I was able to go Saha Israfil or Saha Bahamut, again, he's in a bad spot. But anyway, 
I go ahead and I go I go Breath of Salamander on, on his one two, so that way if he doesn't have creatures and he feels the need to fervor, he's gonna he's gonna take some damage for, for having done that but and, and without answering my without answering my 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 Ayala. And I just go ahead and clear off everything all at once just because I don't I still I still don't know what deck he's playing. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he's he's just playing Ramp Dragon, but he, he could be one of those memers and have some like strange decks. And this turn that just happened right right here, this <laughs> Alright, so so funny backstory. I've actually I've actually due to some recording issues, I and, and my video is just like going too long and getting corrupted. I've actually had I've actually had to record this video like four or five separate times. And every time I get to this part, I, I just get so aggravated because he basically he has, has like because like he basically like made a one IQ play here that like or sorry sorry not not even one IQ just straight up just like negative IQ. And this is why. And the dragon matchup. These matchups go on for a very, very long time. I mean, like, I mean, it's not, it's not unheard of for some of these games to go to deck out. Like, I've also had games personally where they've gone about 20 turns. And the reason why they go so long is because Dragon has a lot of longevity because, because of stuff like Ouroboros and stuff like Sybil. So, him poking me for two damage is absolutely meaningless here. Sorry, it's meaningless for me, but very, very important for him because he's essentially thrown away the Scyther. Like, that's good for me because because one less Scyther that's be, that's going to be used on my Zeus or sorry not Zeus that's going to be used on my Bahamut or used on my Israfil is good because suddenly he's going to because suddenly he's in a bad spot if he doesn't have multiple of them. I think part of why he felt like he could do this was because was, was because I had just shown him one. However, that's still a bad play overall because like if I have some if, if I top deck something like Blazing Breath or or for example if I have exactly Civil plus Blazing Breath. You're in a very very bad spot because I win the game, and this is, and I win the game because I suddenly have have a six five Sybil and a four three Ayala, and if and if you want to get Oro, suddenly your Oro is going to die no, 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 no matter what you do, and I'm still gonna have this four three on the board that's just, you know that's just chilling, just just racking up that damage. But yeah, it was it was just super frustrating for me that he did that just because again you don't. You don't throw away swing cards in a, in the mirror. You, you, you like you you want to try to hold on to them as much as possible. Like it's espe especially because he paired it with Rahab this turn. Rahab is perfectly fine as as a card you can just like play out. Um, as a card you can just kind of play out and not really care and not really care uh, about the rest of what you're doing with, with your curve because 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 Rahab, Rahab will artificially artificially fill your curve because it'll, it'll just eat the mana that you have they have remaining to, to gain attack a, a five five ward is pretty fucking nice i'm just saying but anyway he does that really frustrates me and and, and the second he makes this play i'm just like i really hope i win this game now like <sighs> i don't think i'm going to lose however however there, there is still the possibility that, that like that, that like maybe he's like playing like a greedier list or or just maybe I, I, I get like unlucky on draws or, or, or just things like that. But most times I I almost never I almost never lose the dragon matchup unless I just like straight up just like get cheesed or or, or I just don't see ramp. Anyway, I go Breath of Salamander to clear. And I still have this 4-3 Ayala that, that again is just chilling. Alright, so, so that's two examples. And then here is the biggest... Oh god, this... Oh god. This one, this one actually made me want to tear my hair out. There is 1000% not a reason to, to not ping this Ayala here. There is no difference between 7 mana and 8 mana as Dragon. The only big... Especially, especially in this context. The only big difference is that, oh, I can maybe play... Odin on Odin on your Oro, but I think you are 100% fine with that because 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 Oro is sorry because Odin is, is a play that that doesn't actually develop anything. Yeah, I get a four three. Okay, that's fine. If you have second Oro, that that shouldn't matter. And this is just really annoying for me because 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 part of why because because part of why Oro is so, is so good in general is because you need is because when it comes down if it comes down early enough it can force you to need to. 
to need to clear it in improper ways, and he, and he basically he basically just just like soaks up a lot of resources for for for, uh, for your opponent each and every time he comes into play, and it's, ba it's basically just a giant wall breaker for your opponent's deck. But anyway, he doesn't clear it. He doesn't he doesn't ping Ayala because he, apparently he prioritizes the face damage, which again the face damage is nothing. Like you you're you're still you're still dragging that. that that, that, that's going into nine mana. There, there's nothing you can do on nine mana that kills me. That's just that's just not a thing that happens. And here, I thankfully draw the draw the draw the I uh, sorry not the Ayala draw the Sybil for the biggest punish because now I can go ahead and I can one go up to ten mana and then also I can I can set up space for me to play Polly. So here I'm gonna go ahead and and preemptively Evo. You might be wondering why why. But why did you do that? You're just wasting this Evo. No, this Evo is not a waste. This Evo is an, is, is an investment. With this Evo here, I make it so that he either has to give me has to give me my Evo back and just you know refund me an Evo for free, and and and, and, that, and that's a win that's a win for me, just because I know how to play I know how to play this deck w w without Evos. He doesn't. And two, if he has Dragoon Scyther, that's still fine. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm playing Polly. I'm gonna play the Polly. The the, the the Polly the Polly is gonna bait his Bahamut. I Bahamut his Bahamut. He plays Oro. I play second Polly. I win. Yeah, I I also get the healing off off from the Sybil, and the healing basically negates the Oro ping that he did. Here he goes fervor into Scyther. He gets the clear, but again, I don't give a fuck about that. I'm playing this poly. <sighs> Alright, so here, he is Oro, pings my face again. In this turn, I did not agree with this turn at all. The reason why I don't agree with this turn is because, like, there are several thousand things you could, you could slash should have played, especially, especially because you've just drawn cards. And... Because you can always play the Oro, but you might not ever get space to, 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 to play some of the things that are in your card, uh, that are in your hand ever again. Like for example, even, even though it seems bad, w one of the things they could and should have played if he had it in his hand was Israfil. And this is why. Because at 8 HP, Israfil is very, very hard, to, is, is very, very hard for me to take down without needing to use an Evo. If I have something like Sahakil, and if I, saw, yeah, if I have something like Sahakil Zeus, sure, fine, I got you. But most likely, because I played this Polyphonic Roar, and because I haven't answered any 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 of your previous plays w with Saha, that means I most likely don't have it. Additionally, the other the other good thing would would, would have been for for for, for, ah, for him to have played a storm damage creature because then I'll I'll have to I'll have to give him my last Evo in order in order to clear it with Israfil, but. Here, I just go ahead and play Grimnir. I play the Grimnir because I I can't play the rest of the stuff in my hand. I just I just can't. There there's no I I want I want to hold on to the Israfil just because the the Israfil is the last major trump card in my hand that's actually a creature, and that is not Bahamut. Just because Bahamut is a very very valuable resource in this matchup, and I and I don't want I don't want to play it. I don't want to play I don't want to play it if I don't have to. So here. I basic I basically force him to, to give me an Evo here, because ideally, what I would like for him to do is I would like for him to either play Bahamut. So, so again, I, I I can go ahead and, and 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 finally start off the chain reaction of the uh, again, he Bahamut's I Bahamut him back. He plays Oro, I play Polly. Or he can give me an Evo, but if he gives me an Evo, that's that's a losing play if he if he cannot get rid of this Polly. So he plays the Bahamut. That's fine. I don't. I don't care about that because I have my own Bahamut. I also draw a second Bahamut for it for added insurance, just because. <laughs> just because. <laughs> you never know with some people. He he he, he, he might have had like uh, he he might draw into second Bahamut or something like that because he has drawn more cards than me slightly, and and so if I need to. I can I can go ahead and I can take my I can take my step one step further and just he Bahamut's I Bahamut him back he Bahamut's me I Bahamut him again and then I play Polly so 
if he uses double Bahamut, that'll be very, very good for me. Just because... Just because Bahamut is the only common answer to, to Polyphonic Roar. So, so, when I get, so, I went, so when I get the second Roar into play, he suddenly can't stop me anymore and I just win. Just because his last, just because his last, just because his last Bahamut, if I, if I get lucky enough, is buried is buried deep inside his deck. All right now here, my opponent finally gets punished for for, for throwing away for throwing away his Scyther because what he could have done here is he could have gone Scyther plus Rahab or and something like that, and that would have been perfectly fine. But instead. He makes a very very weird play and decides then decides to save his Evas for next game because because what he should have done is is exactly what I said that he was supposed to do and that he was supposed to go Oro Evo and then you know pass. But instead he tries to think that he can ward up and block and block this and block this Bahamut from hitting his face instead of just you know going Oracle into Oro and then you know yeah. The Oracle into into Oro is good for 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 two reasons. One, you, you, you get time you get time to, to cycle out to, to cycle out a card in your hand. Two, you give me you give me initiative slash 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 make me want to want to accidentally commit into commit uh, commit hard into into a second Bahamut or something like that because because I've already seen one. And then lastly, you just again you just dig for more cards and you just dig for more plays. But yeah, like he he just like held on to his Evo, and and I didn't really understand this because because as you'll see in a second, he Evos anyway. I, d I don't like <laughs> like he does not he does not have the health total to make the plays that he's making. Like he's already shown me two Scythers. For all he knows, I could have Scythers. If I have a Scyther here, he died. Great. Sorry. Not sorry. Not even just Scyther. If I have anything relevant in my deck, he dies. <laughs> like Zeus. He's dead. Genesis. He's dead. Fucking Ariette. He's dead. <laughs> Grimnir. He's dead. Oro. He's dead. Israfil. Dead. Like. Hell. Even two removal spells. Dead. Like. But anyway, I get to go Israfil. Israfil clear clears off both targets. It, it also it also pushes the one extra damage that I need to get this kill, and I just go face it with Bahamut. But yeah, honestly, like I said, this game this game one hundred and fifty thousand percent came down to my opponent not not understanding when he when he needed to clear Ayala and also throwing away vi valuable resources for no reason. And 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 this is basically a giant. What not to do when it comes when it comes to, to, to playing in the Dragon Mirror, especially when it comes to fucking around with Ayala. That's not a card like Ayala, Bahamut, Sybil, Oro. Not card, not cards that you should be fucking with. Like that's I don't know, because because honestly, he he was in a pretty good spot to win if he, if he had done that, just because I did not have an answer to it. But again, he, he just he just kind of choked and just kind of threw away the, and just kind of threw away the win for no reason, just because oh, gotta go face. Gotta go face. Yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the kind of like rant bit at the end. It's just that Dragon is a class that I'm very, very passionate about because I because as you may as you may know from my from Asnandro, I believe week one or week two, I think. I it's 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 my most played class and and I have like some like have like some like nostalgia from playing it because or sorry. I have some nostalgia from my from my time when I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh for playing Dragon, so yeah. And it just kind of it just kind of bugs me a little bit when I see people both do play and uh, and like talk about the deck incorrectly, just because from just because for me, my personal belief is that not everything is going to appeal to everyone. Some people are going to like certain things more than others. Like for example. I okay, like for example, I I don't like Force that much, just because I suck at Roach Map, and but I am working on that. I, I am working on getting better at the Roach Map. But I know, but I know several, but I know several Force mains who love the who love the class. Like, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bash on the class or whatever just just because I don't like it, just because that's that's incorrect and self-centered. But yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, 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 it's a little bit long. 
go ahead and go ahead and and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, go ahead and let me know what you think about Dragon as a whole down in the comments below. Don't worry, I promise I will not bite your head off or anything like that. Just you know, just be honest and to the point. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.